Uh, today we've got a demonstration of how we've successfully interfaced to a GoPro HD camera that we're going to fly on Speedball 1 and 2 for White Star. Uh, we're able to remove the battery entirely, which saves a bunch of weight, uh, and we're going to power it from the main 5 volt bus of the power center for the Speedball payload. We found several websites that show that the system is actually using an iPod style connector, similar to SanDisk and others. You can see the, the pins here. We have a spare set, and this is the actual setup as we have hacked it together. We've got this providing 5 volt power and ground, as well as uh, the white wire provides the actual same connection as the power slash mode button on the front of the camera. We did find out that this particular brand of jacks uh, are not the same as the typical website pinouts. The top and the bottom rows are swapped, not flipped over, but swapped top and bottom. You'll see those three wires run over here to the sensor controller for White Star, which we're currently just using to provide uh, a pass through for power and ground. The data line goes to this white wire here, which uh, Patrick, who figured out the final wiring fiasco's proper configuration, is going to demonstrate turning the camera on. I'll give it to you, Patrick. So he's going to short that data line to ground for a second. Turns the camera on. There we go. And it's going to start recording automatically. And then again, he's going to short it to ground for two and a half seconds to turn the thing off. There we go, it's off. Beautiful. Let's take a look at that power draw, too. We t we'll turn it back on here for you. Now, there we go, it's on record mode. And there it is, it's actually recording now. About 350 milliamps. And then we'll shut it off again. And saving, and done. Look at that. Less than 5 milliamps.